Hi, today we're going to look at the Hills Video Security CCTV app and how to configure it on an iPhone or Android. Uh, first of all, you will need a Hills Professional MVR, a monitor, and a, uh, a valid email address. So, first of all, we'd want to download the app. So, I have an iPhone here. This is also available on Android as well. Um, using the Play Store. So if we click on Applications and we type in Hills Security CCTV or Hills Video Security CCTV, uh, this application will appear and once and then once we do once we found it we can download it. Once we've downloaded it we simply go to the application itself, click on the circle with the three lines at the top there, and then we'll click on Hills Auto Configuration. Once we've done that Towards the bottom of the screen you'll see register. What we want to do is register the customer's email address to the NVR. Right, so I'm just going to enter a valid email. One moment. Okay, so once we've entered a valid email address, we want to confirm the verification code, which is basically just below the email address itself. Okay, so I've entered that uh, four digit code in there, and we simply press get verification code. Okay, now it has sent me an email uh, asking for the verification code, and that is via the email that it's uh, that I've added into it. So if we just pan across to here and zoom into the email, you can see that it has provided me a verification code there, which is uh, eight nine eight seven. Just tilt it up there so you can see that. Okay, I'm just entering this into the phone now. Okay, just like that. Oops, I'll just zoom out a bit so I can get a bit of focus. Perfect. And once we've done that, we just simply press next. Right, so basically what it's asking for us now is entering a username and password. Right, so I'm going to create a username. It could potentially just be your email again if you want to. Uh, in this case, I'll just add the email's um, username. And then when, once we've done that, we just enter the password and confirm the password as well. Okay, so I've just entered those details in there, and we just simply press the finish button at the, towards the bottom. Okay, now we are currently registered onto the system now. So, just going to simply log in. Okay, right, just entered my password there. We can also uh, tick this auto login for future use if required. Um, I do, I do like clicking that, so it prevents, it stops me from having to enter the password again and again. So click simply log in. Right, we've come to this page here, which is this is which is where we add an account or add a device to the app. Right, so this is really simple to do. So at the top there we've got the circle with the plus button at the top there. And all we need to do is press the plus button there. And as you can see on the phone, it's come up with a 
uh, QR scanner. So if we just pan to the left towards the DVR, sorry, the NVR, and focus in a bit, you'll see there is a QR code on the side. So all we need to do is simply scan it. So once we've scanned it, you can see that the NVR has been found by the app. So all we need to do now is click the plus button on the right hand side and now it's asking for us asking for another verification code which is in the actual DVR itself um, and we can access this verification code from the NVR so first of all we, we need to do, first of all we need to log in Okay, once we've logged in, we need to click on maintenance. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see that. And then we click on system info. Okay, under the system info, we see there's a verification code uh, in the last uh, line of uh, information there. So this has to be all capitals as well as what it is basically written on the screen. Right, once we've entered the verification code from the NVR, the device will appear on the phone like this at the top of the list with the serial number of the NVR, uh, how many channels, etc. Once we click on the unit itself, we simply click on live view towards the bottom of the screen. And there we are. We have our live video via our application.